can't wait to watch you guys play tonight. Yeah, because you know what? We work too hard year round for these opportunities. Too hard. Uh, and you know what time uh, it feels like? Uh, it feels like Christmas time. Uh, it feels like Christmas time. Uh, it feel like uh, it feel like uh, it's cold. Uh, it's late in the uh, year. Uh, yeah. You know what time it is? Yeah. It's time to get some gifts, man. Yeah. It's time to get some gifts. Yeah. Yeah. So come yeah. with me, man. Yeah. Yeah. Today is our gift, man. Yeah. We stick together. There's no team out there that's tighter than this unit. That goes through good, that goes through bad, that sticks together, that works harder than everybody else. So get yeah. on this field again. Get this field together. Get this field together. Now everybody in this field. For you, for you, for you, for you, for you. Everybody with me. Say yeah. That works harder. That earns the right to go out and play big time football games. Let's go, man! I love you guys. I can't wait to watch you go play tonight. I'm telling you this finish this season the right way. Finish it the right way. Yeah! Arkansas is the team with the momentum, I would say. Yeah. And Mississippi State is a team who has to decide for their final two ball games of the year that they're going to make these the two biggest ball games they play this year. We knew it was going to be a four-quarter fight to the end. Arkansas, they're a very good team. They've been a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of close games, so we knew coming to the game it was going to be a four-quarter fight. I think our guys came out and, and played, uh, played really well. I, I thought we played well for four quarters. We made some critical mistakes, um, you know, with with the the turnovers. But overall, I thought we played well for four quarters. And they uh, fake to Collins, throw it the other way, complete to Morgan, broke a tackle and sprints into the end zone. First and second down, we, we, we really executed the, the plan, for the most part, fairly well. It was, it was third down that was our undoing, and, and we allowed the quarterback to, to extend drives on third down to keep, uh, to keep him in the mix. 7-0 Arkansas, Prescott rolling, firing, complete to Deronia Wilson, over the 40 to about the 41 or 42. Wilson, a lone guy to the left. Looking in that direction, fires it to Wilson. Derunya catches it. Spun away from a tackler and is able to work his way into first down yardage. Three receivers to the left side and one receiver to the right. That's Derunya. And uh, stepping back and they throw it out of the backfield. Caught by Holloway. Gets loose to the 30, to the 20s. Down the sideline at the 10. He is gone for a touchdown. He's fast, and I was just uh, throwing him some screens, getting him uh, the ball and check downs, and uh, just letting him run versus those linebackers. Uh, it's a big mix, ma uh, mix match when you get him in the coverage, and those linebackers have to hold him man to man, and uh, he's doing a great job of uh, coming along with that. Well, I thought Brandon did a great job for us. You know, I mean, we ran the ball uh, effectively. I think I don't think anybody in the world would have thought he'd outrush Alex Collins in that game, but uh, he did, and then uh, made a lot of big plays coming out of the backfield, which was a, a part of our game plan in a, in a matchup we thought we had where. You know, instead of trying to pound away in between the tackles with him, we could get him out in the open field one-on-one -on, -one on their linebackers and, uh, and uh, get him in space and, and create that matchup. And, and he, we did that, and he was able to win those matchups. Hey, nicely done. You got run through that out. Run through that. Fake inside, look down the field, throwing, open, just Gabe Miles got it at the 30, caught from behind at the 20, spilled at about the 17 or 18 yard line, and they uh, fake to Holloway, keeping it is Prescott, he's headed for the end zone, he scores untouched as he went to the left corner. We are just executing, um, nobody did anything spectacular, everybody just did their job, they did their 1-11th on the offense, offensive line protected, uh, running back made good runs, made plays, and receivers uh, made plays downfield, and uh, we just scored touchdowns, and when we just get going fast and everybody just does their job, uh, we can score quick. After an opening touchdown by Arkansas, the Bulldogs have had back-to-back -back possessions where they've driven it into the end zone. And with timeout on the field, Mississippi State leads Arkansas 14 to 7. Arkansas will go wide to the left side receiver, put a man in motion from right to left. That's Antoine, and now back to pass is Allen going to throw it out of the backfield, wide open is Sprinkle, and the big guy got wide open. He was the underneath receiver, and he made the catch and steps into the end zone. Let's see if the Bulldogs can put a, together a, another touchdown drive here. Bulldogs about to get the ball now. And now 
now getting some pressure. Throw a little one-man screen. Good block out front. Ross has a 40, 35, 30, 25, and inside the 20 and out of bounds on a big play. And it's put down, and Graves kicks it up, and he drills it through, and the Bulldogs take a 17-14 lead in the ball game. We uh, stopped the run, and that's what, you know, the, over the last few years, you know, that's what Arkansas has been known for. So we really uh, showed up Saturday ready to stop the run, and, you know, that's what we did, and, you know, we stopped the pass. But, you know, Arkansas was a great team, you know, first half, though. Fake it, keep it, throw it over the middle, wide open Miles at the 35, turns the corner to the 30, caught at the 25, dropped along the 25-yard line, another big play for the Bulldogs. Holloway's the widest, and the fake, and the keep by the quarterback, and the throw in the end zone, the back of the end zone, Brown is there, touchdown Mississippi State. Fred Brown on the catch, and a nice job of patiently waiting at Prescott to find the open man, and then he delivered. Prescott has some time, throws it deep for Ross. What a catch by Ross at the 35. Broke a tackle to the 30. Makes a move to the 20. He's headed to the 10. He is going touchdown. Fred Ross on one of the most spectacular runs after catch that we've seen this year. I was standing there. We're looking right at him right in front of me. I thought, wow, that was a great catch. And pretty spectacular that he made that. Then I saw once he made the guy miss, you're you're thinking, go score. And, And I'll tell you what, he put a great move on the safety. Uh, and finish the catch off with a touchdown was a, a, a phenomenal effort and a, a big time play on his part. I was going across the field and I saw Dak. He, Dak threw it up high to me. Just he put his faith in me. And, and initially I was just like, just go attack the ball hard, go get it before the DB gets it. And um, I mean, I just went up and it kind of everything happened so fast. And I, I came down with it and I was just thinking, just make a play, make a play. And um, I mean, next thing I know is I was in the end zone. Pretty good drive. Everybody played a key part in that drive. We talked about it. Continue it right now. You guys got me? We had a good lead at 31-14, and then they score that touchdown. You know, I mean, the fact that we, we couldn't hold them a field goal, they got the touchdown, and then didn't leave us, us enough time to respond uh, that going into the halftime break, they had the momentum. And uh, knowing, you know, so our first thought is, we got the ball to start the second half. We have to come and squash that momentum right away to start the second half. And, uh, and we proceeded to turn it over on three consecutive possessions. Crashes across the 20, fumble the football. Arkansas says they have it and they do. Goes to Grunya, and the ball is bobbled up in the air and batted up. He failed to catch it, and Arkansas intercepts it on the 39-yard line. Fake to Deer, the step up and trying to throw the ball and hit as he did. Ball picked up, and Arkansas trying to run it down the field, and evidently... They're saying fumble recovery to the 40-yard line on their side and return. That's what they're calling right now on the field, saying first down Arkansas. I've never experienced uh, a momentum shift that drastic. Uh, before, I think I had maybe five plays uh, in the sense of they went on a 20, uh, 28-0 run, and uh, before we knew it, we were down 10 or down 11, whatever it was. Uh, but I knew there was no panic. Uh, we still just made two mistakes on, uh, on our part on offense, but they hadn't stopped us. We just stopped ourselves. Uh, and that it's a long game. I mean, it was in the third quarter. We just keep going, keep plugging that uh, we put ourselves back in it. And they're going to be in a fourth down situation. Collins the running back, and they're going to go back and throw for it. And they've got a long pass down the field, and it is overthrown. They took a shot at Hunter Henry, pretty well covered by Zach Jackson, the linebacker. Well, that was a really gutsy defensive stand right there. That fourth down call uh, and the fact they took the shot there, they were going for the kill. And, and if, they had, if they had hit that pass, it would have been a big play. And we. Um, you know, we, 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 we were in a, in a run-stopping defense and playing man coverage on the outside, and um, they put one of their best players on a corner out, and Zach Jackson, a senior, um, was fantastic in his coverage, was, uh, was all over him, did a great job just being poised. Uh, a lot of guys would freak out there and get a pass interference penalty, had great poise. Made the quarterback have to actually execute with a perfect pass, which he was not able to do, and I thought that play really turned the momentum of the game. That was our first punch back off the ropes and allowed us to fight our way back into the game.
At Sullivan's Office Supply, we've been selling quality office products and furniture in our area since 1959. We offer many brands and styles of office furniture. With free AutoCAD design, we help you decide the best arrangement for the function and then apply various price ranges and styles of furniture to fit that function. Let our experienced people at Sullivan's work with you to get you the best possible answer. You like working with us because we work with you. It's back! It's Nissan's holiday event. Now with special Black Friday offers. Choose Altima with 0% APR for up to 72 months, or Sentra with 0% for up to 72 months. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. We're ready for the final 15 minutes of this football game. Mississippi State, who led it at halftime, 31-21, trail it 42-31 as we enter the final quarter of play. The defense did a good job of getting that stop and getting us the ball back right there. And uh, yeah, that was huge. Uh, they go up by more than 11 at that point if they score. And uh, we knew we had to come down to score. And uh, that was our chance to just put us right back in the game, get momentum going our way. Shepard behind the quarterback, and they fake it to him. Now looking, looking, the little pressure rolls out, looks downfield, gonna fire into the sideline, completed about the 20 yard line. Trip receivers right, running the option, turns it up, fights to the goal line, did he get in? He's close, they show the touchdown sign. Now they are gonna give it to Collins and he's gonna be knocked down back at the 23 yard line. Good but penetration by Richie Brown. We stopped them on first down, we stopped them on second down. And then we just, you know, we had a great rush from the guys up front. We flushed the quarterback, um, uh, deflected the pass, almost had a chance for a pick six. But well, it was just our third down defense finally came along. And, um, and, and we were able to get the ball back to our offense and they were able to capitalize. And now back to pass, throws in the middle and is caught by Deronia Wilson. It's Bulldogs going in a hurry. Rolling to his left, throwing into the sideline. Wilson makes the catch at about the 38, gets run out of bounds immediately. And they're gonna handle it. Look, look, and throw complete. Deronja Wilson caught it inside the 25 and turns and stretches to the 20. Snap to the quarterback. Prescott fires. Deronja Wilson, he's got it into the end zone and for touchdown, Mississippi State. And the Bulldogs have regained the lead, try to make it a three-point ball game on the extra point by Weston Graves. And the kick is up. It hit the goal post, and it is no good. It hits the upright and is no good, and that could be huge. He just overswung on the ball. You know what I mean? He just kind of really pulled, the, pulled himself across the ball instead of kicking up through the ball. And, um, you know, and you just see it just kind of shanked it sideways. Here's a high kickoff floating out of bounds, and it's out of bounds at about the five yard line. Collins is going to get the fake, and the Bulldogs are going to put some pressure on, and there's a throw intended for Dominic Reed, and he catches it at the 20, and is tackled from behind by Talando Cleveland on about the 13 yard line, and Arkansas is right back knocking on the door on one big play. On the other side, put a man in motion back towards the line of scrimmage. Make it to Collins, get pressure, throw it to a wide open sprinkle, and he's got it for a touchdown. So they will go for two. They're going to snap it, and they're going to run a uh, reverse and throw it to a quarterback in the end zone, and it is caught for a two-point conversion. Snap to Prescott, looks in the middle to run you Wilson, broke a tackle, breaks it out to the 35-yard line and has the first down. Arkansas trying to come up the middle, throw it complete to Holloway, turns and runs to the 40, to the 50, makes a move to the 40, goes to the 30, goes to the 20, caught from behind inside the 20 at about the 18-yard line. Bulldogs in a third down play, empty backfield, five receivers in the pattern, snap to Prescott, here comes the pressure, over the middle, the catch, and it's going to be a touchdown. It was no deep, and me and, me and Dak kind of made eye contact towards each other, and and everything happened so fast. He received a snap and saw, saw the middle of the field was open. And I just ran around. Dad, Dad did a good job of delivering the ball to me. 
I think our guys executed the whole way down the field, did a great job on the, on the touchdown pass. They blitzed everybody, hit the hot receiver, stood in the pocket, hit the hot receiver. You know, Fred Ross breaks the tackle, get in the end zone. Like I said, we hit the extra point right down the middle to take a one point lead. Um, you know, I think at that point, our guys felt great. You know, our defense go out there and, and, and get one more stop. We, had, we did a great job on the kickoff coverage and kept them pinned deep and made them have to go the length of the field. We didn't want to give up a touchdown, you know, in the final second. We kind of didn't even want him to move the ball, you know, but, you know, Allen is a great quarterback and, you know, he led his team down the field. And But our mindset was, you know, be him, but don't break. So don't let him score, you know, just give him, you know, the opportunity to kick a field goal. You know, we'll put all hands in and go, you know, block the kick. Hey, 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 hey get in here. Hey, everybody catch your breath. Listen up. Listen up. Hey, the kid outside is, the kid is one for four in long field goals. He's one for four in long field goals. I want to turn over, fit our gaps, make a play. We had some substitutions in an emergency block. You saw Darian Hutcherson on the field. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not your normal defense out there on the field. And the one thing you want to do is, is just get those guys together so there's no confusion, have more guys on the field than you need. Just get those 11 together. And, you know, we had talked all year. Everything we do is about finishing. Finish, finish, finish. Strain. And, um, you know, the pressure was not on us. The pressure was on their place kicker. And, uh, you know, the, the, they, that's, they put the game in his hands. And, and uh, on a cold night, uh, you know, we've just been out there playing. All our guys have been on the field. They're in the flow of the game. Go make a play. So all the way down, they're going to put it on the 19-yard line. 29-yard field goal attempt. Hedlund has got a chance to make, be a hero tonight. Bulldogs call the timeout so they would get the ball back. A little bit of a snow snap. And they blocked it. They blocked it. They blocked it. Bulldogs blocked it. And they will get the ball back at the 20-yard line. It was just the relentless effort of Benique West Brown of, uh, you know, just finding a way to, and shooting through the gap and, uh, and getting hands on the ball. And they're going to snap it and take the knee, and this one's going to be in the record book, and the Bulldogs are going to come to Fayetteville, Arkansas. And the Bulldogs have done a great job of coming back from adversity, but there was no quit in this Mississippi State team, and they come back, and they make the plays they have to to win the ball game. We talk about finish. finish. You talk about finish, okay? You talk about finish in everything that we do, in everything to the final second you finish, no matter what the situation, no matter where you are in life, you don't stop believing, you never stop believing in whatever it is you're doing. As hard as you can, you go finish. I'll tell you what, Coach Court, yes, sir. your whole crew, Every one of them damn leg presses in the offseason. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. Every, every, every row. Every spread has a push. was worth it. <laughs> to get to this point of the season, in that game, in that game, to fall behind them, to come out to start the second half, how we started the second half, to face the adversity we had to face, to face that adversity you had to face, to not stop believing in each other. I told you we're a family. We're going to finish because of all that you put in as a team, as a family. And I'll tell you what, man, you finished. I told you, I love you guys before the game. I love the way you played tonight. Okay? I was, I mean, I'm, I, I don't, I, I'm, 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 wow. Everybody knows what week this is. 
needs no introduction. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, it's going to be pretty special. It's going to be pretty special. So you didn't see it? Huh? <laughs> put me in a Baryshnikov category, but uh, you know, seeing the video, I think I can dance a little better than that. I mean, we need to work on his ability to dance a little bit. I'm not the best dancer myself, but uh, I think I, even I can help him out a little bit. He kind of needs to work on his whip and then they, but the, he got the dab down pretty damn fat. He don't dance much, you know. He, he really a serious guy, you know. You really don't get to see that part of him. But after a great, you know, after a great win, you know, you never can't be surprised what happened. But, you know, he's a great guy. And, you know, we got to keep uh, working on those dance moves. Tickets at Prime Sport? Yep, Prime Sport can get you tickets for anything. Even if it's sold out. Even if you want a VIP experience. Even if you want impossible to get seats. Even for <clears throat> a once in a lifetime event. Sorry. Even if you want to hang with celebrities. Prime Sport is the best. The best. Prime Sport, events that move you. While you're out partying with your friends this weekend, remember, get a designated driver. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. A message from the Mississippi Office of Highway Safety. Egg Bowl game is always the biggest game of the year. I think the rivalry game, you're talking about bragging rights for everybody in the state of Mississippi for, for the entire year. So it means so much uh, to all the fans out there. When you have an in-state rival like this, it's, it's not just about the game. I mean, it's, it's people that you go, you go to church with, that are your neighbors, that you see every day, that you work with, um, that are fans of one school or the other. And so uh, you're talking bragging rights for the whole year. That's what makes it the biggest game of the year for us. We've done a great job this season. We've got some momentum going our way, uh, but that really doesn't mean anything going into this game. Uh, this game is slates clean on both sides, uh, and this game's a special, and it's all, uh, all about what rivalry week's about. Rugged rivalry, so, I mean, everything goes. You never know what you're gonna get from each team. It's gonna be a, a four-quarter fight, I'm sure, and, I mean, hopefully we come out on top. These rivalry games, it's about, you know, it's about guys on the field um, making plays, and, because uh, it's gonna be a very intense atmosphere. Um, again, not, not, not a game that, that pretty doesn't matter in this game. It's, it's about finding a way to get it done and, and, and out fighting the man across from you. So uh, our guys are very excited. It's, it's, a, it's a great showcase for the whole state in terms of both teams being ranked in the year that both uh, schools have had. It's, a, it's a, you know, an example of the fine level of football here in the state, but, uh, but we're, we're ready to put on a show on Saturday. You know, obviously we got to show up and I do what we do every Saturday, you know, uh, stop their pass game, their run game, just be a dominant uh, defense, you know, for four quarters, not give up any slack, and just play hard four quarter on both sides of the ball. Just make sure we show up Saturday ready to dominate. Yeah.